starting with his modern mint error. Take a look at this 1977 quarter dollar. Notice its irregular shape and missing parts of the motto Liberty. This happened because the Washington quarter was overstruck on a previously minted Jefferson nickel, which has a different planchet size. This type of error is known as a double denomination. In this rare and captivating instance, the Washington quarter was mistakenly struck on an already minted Jefferson nickel, blending both coin designs into one extraordinary piece. The rarity of such error, with clear elements of both quarter and the nickel visible, makes it exceptionally valuable. An example in MS66 condition stands out due to its high grade and unusual nature of the minting mistake. Collectors prize these coins for their unique and intriguing appearance, often fetching high prices at auctions. In fact, this rare quarter sold for an impressive $1,620, including the buyer's fee, at a great collections auction. If you have 1972 dated Lincoln scent, you don't need a magnifying glass or microscope to spot this valuable error coin. The doubling on obverse letterings are so vivid that they can be spotted with the naked eye. This is elusive 1972 Lincoln scent with double die obverse, graded in mint state 64 red by NGC, and later confirmed by CAC. The 1972 double die obverse Lincoln scent is one of the most sought after error coins among collectors. This particular error occurred when the obverse die was struck twice, resulting in a noticeable doubling on the inscriptions Liberty, in God with Trust, and the date 1972. In MS64 red, in state 64 with a red coloration, this coin is highly prized due to its vibrant, uncirculated condition and the clear visibility of the doubling error. The combination of significant error and high grade makes it a valuable addition to any numismatic collection, often commanding impressive prizes at auctions. This one recently fetched $660 at Stax Bowers auction. Do you see this enchanting toning on this Jefferson nickel? This is not a pocket change or circulation strike 5 cent piece. This is a proof gem specially made for collectors. A wartime nickel worth big money. 1941 proof nickel in PR68 grade. Sales of proof nickels rose by several thousand pieces for 1941 as the coin hobby in general gained popularity. Gems are available though a combination of technological limitations are poor storage options, limited and a number of very high grade examples. Cameo proofs are exceedingly rare for this date. From small mintage of 18,720 pieces, the 1941 proof Jefferson nickel is a prime condition rarity at the PR68 grade level. NGC has graded less than 20 coins in PR68 grade. This spectacular specimen offers a sharply detailed design elements and virtually flawless surfaces with attractive highlights of jade, sea green, and lavender gray toning. I appeal is terrific. It was sold for $2,640 at heritage auctions. Typical for the demarmint during this period, the 1950D half dollar is more often seen well struck than its Philadelphia mint cousin. Both issues, however, have suffered from numerous contact marks, resulting in significant rarity above the grade of MS65 with or without full bell lines. The nation finally recovered from post-war inflation and unemployment. This is reflected in the higher mintage during 1950. Over the several preceding years, two fairly minor repunched mint mark varieties are known, for 1950D, one of them being FS501. These 1950D Franklin Half was graded in mint state 67 with full bell lines by NGC. A sharp stripe complements pristine, softly frosted surfaces. With full bell lines, 1950D Franklin half dollar is major rarity in MS67 with fewer than a dozen pieces this fine at NGC and PCGS combined. It was sold for $7,200. Let's talk about modern rarities the 1990 no S Lincoln scent. To spot this valuable error, check your 1990 Lincoln scent for a missing mint mark on the worst side near the date. But don't get too excited just yet. Many of you might have 1990 Lincoln scent without mint marks, but we're not talking about regular business strike coins. We are talking about proof pennies dated 1990, which should have an S mint mark, but weren't struck without it due to a mint slip up.
The 1990 NOAA Sand was graded PR69 rate ultra cameo by NGC. Over the past few decades, there have been several proof issues that accidentally omitted the S mint mark on a limited number of coins. These mistakes are usually caught quickly, making such examples very scarce. The deeply mirrored fields on this piece show spectacular cameo contrast against the frosted devices, making it a fully struck and pristine specimen. This impressive coin sold for $4,080 at Heritage Auctions. Prepare to be amazed by a true numismatic treasure, a CAC approved 1950 Lincoln scent, a key date proof scent, graded PR67 Red Brown by PCGS. This coin dazzles with satin surfaces that shimmer with nearly full mint orange, accented by a delicate olive brown iridescence. Every design detail is sharply struck and both sides are nearly flawless, earning it a prestigious superb gem rating from PCGS. As a second to last issue in the early Proof Lincoln Scent series, the 1915 has a minuscule mintage. 1150 pieces, making it rarer than all but iconic 1909 VDB in the final year 1916. Finding coins as smooth and visually stunning as this one is exceptionally rare in market. This extraordinary scent fetched an impressive $15,600 at auction on June 18, 2024, showcasing its rarity and exceptional condition. 1955 DDO scent is one of the most coveted Lincoln scents. Even in brown and circulated condition, it fetches impressive sums at auctions. This brown scent graded them at 62 by PCGS recently was sold for $2,640 at Stax Bowers auction. The 1955 double diverse Lincoln scent is notable error coin recognized for its prominent doubling of the inscriptions on the obverse, including Liberty and God We Trust, and the date 1955. Rated MS62 by PCGS, this coin retains much of its original mint luster despite minor abrasions or imperfections consistent with the MS62 grade. Its classification as DDO coupled with its certified grade enhances its desirability among collectors. Such coins often attract significant interest and higher auction values due to their rarity and historical significance in realm of numismatics. As we conclude our journey through some of the rarest US coins to watch for in 2024, remember that the world of numismatics is ever evolving. Whether you are a seasoned collector or just starting out, these coins represent not just the value but all history and intrigue. Which of these coins surprise you most? Do you have any rare coins in your collection? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it informative and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating insights into the world of coins. Until the next time, and keep collecting!